Hi, this is Shannon Olson from Nana's Workshop. I thought I'd pop on today and start showing you some crafts that I do. Um, I do canvas art, um, I decorate furniture, or I hand paint furniture, and I do some crafting as well, and some gardening if you haven't seen my um, gardening tips on uh, YouTube as well. I do have the channel Nana's Workshop. I also am on Facebook, and I do have a website if you want to go to httpnanas-workshop.com. Otherwise, you can find me on Facebook, Nana's Workshop NE. Um, all right, so today I wanna to show you some uh, hot glue art. And if you've never done this before, it's really a lot of fun. You can make anything and everything on it. So I wanna start off by getting your hot glue very, very hot. And get your canvas. I just, I am doing this for a customer and I already did a large one. So I painted the background gold. You can do the background however you'd like. And I'm just doing these minis. So I'm doing the shape of a tree, all right? So if you guys can see this, Don't worry about those strings. You can pull them off later. You can make them squiggly for the branches. You can make them straight, however you'd like. You do go through quite a bit of glue, so just fair warning you. Get enough, however many branches you want on there. I like to get it really nice and full. See what I'm doing there? Okay, so you can just keep going like that. You can add as many branches on as you want. I'm gonna go and move on to the next one. So this one I already did. And this one has the branches and they're already dried on there. So we can start painting this. But see how I can pull those strings off if I don't want them on there? You can trim those off. But this one's ready to paint. So I just go and take my black, and I get a little bit of black and the brown, mix it together. I'm just following along the shape of the tree, come down to the trunk, come out a little bit, off the glue, and just kind of dab, dab it in there. And if you're doing a dragonfly or a butterfly, of course you use the appropriate colors. You can layer different colors on here. Um, what I'm doing for this customer is, since I already did the full tree on a larger canvas, I am going to do um, kind of like the seasons. Um, one will be the spring with the green leaves. One will be the fall with the turning of the leaves. And That's good enough for that. So then I move on to the next step. And this one already has the black and the brown in it. So then I just choose, let's do this one in a fall. So let's get some colors on there. I'm choosing orange, actually two different kinds of orange, two different kinds of yellow and a little bit of red. I don't know if this orange is going to make it. Maybe. Um, and the red. And then the other yellow I need. And then just get you a, a short bristle brush. 
and start with your darker color. You can have several brushes if you want, but I'm going to start with the darker orange first. And I'm not going to mess with the brown because there's already brown in there. So you're just going to dab it. and hit it here and there, okay? You can do, go through all the different colors. I'm gonna try the lighter orange here. I don't know, it's pretty, my lighter orange was kind of dried out. It's actually working fairly well, yes, I like it. It, if you can get this kind of a, I don't know if you want to call it a stippling brush, um, but look up in the branches. It does actually leave a very nice kind of um, a texture or style, detail. I'm coming back with some more orange. And I'm going to go in between. I'm going to go, it's okay to go on the canvas, you know, in between those branches. I'm going to come in with some red. I don't want it blobby. I'm just, I'm dipping it in the paint and then I'm stomping it out, okay? So let's add some red in there. This one's going to be a very pretty fall variation of all colors. Make sure you get some on the side and on the top. And if you like another color, you can always let it dry and come back with that color again. Now I think I'm going to go to the yellows. This one in there, that one really makes a difference. I really like this color. Really stands out a little bit more. It's um, cadmium yellow. These are all either acrylics or they are um, chalk paint. So you can add both mediums and it would work just fine. So I think the fall one is good enough. I like that. So then we can go back and see if that's dry. And then we can go to the um, summer, spring one. Let's see if that's dry enough. No, all right, let's dry that quick. So I want, I might as well stay with my same uh, brush here. I'm actually going to use some dark green over in this one. It's kind of a fall. It's a dark, it's pretty, pretty dark sage color. So I do like that. I'm going to add it in. 
a little bit here. And we'll go back over here. So I'm going to start with my green, the dark green. Again, I'm just stamping it, pushing down, just pressing down. But you want those different colors in there to get some different layering in. It helps give it a little more dimension. But start with your darker colors first. It is easier if it lays down. So then I want my brighter green. See that guys? Sorry about that. Forget I have two cameras going. And you can actually I might show you on that first one. And mix these two and get a lighter green variation. that dry we'll let the fall one dry I want to show you guys something though on uh, this other one lay my brush down what you can actually do is another way now for the winter one I would just probably leave this do the tree and leave it um, gray and black and just do the trunk and leave it because you know in the winter they don't have any leaves so but I want to show you something here what you can also do is you have your gold underneath but I have to get these strings off but what you can also do I need my water What you can also do, which is kind of a neat effect, is go ahead and paint like the whole thing. Give it that, even all the way over here. You paint the whole canvas all over and you get this kind of a look all right then you come back and you wipe it off isn't that tree cool it's almost like an antiquing effect almost looks like a bronze I 
You can wipe as much off or as little off as you want, and you're gonna get this effect. And that's kind of a an antique bronze. I still have to wipe a little bit more here, but um, that's cool. And then you can paint your tree however you want. So um, that's pretty neat. So you can do different kinds, different ways. And, uh, and that's all there is to it. Hot glue art. Different seasons, different trees. It's pretty cool. You can see that texture in there. Yeah. And if you want to see this one done a little bit here, I'll put some, I'll add some color here. Add some color so you can see what it's like. And you can wipe this off too, but I'm going to leave it just so you can get, start getting some of that. Add however much you want, however little you want. Just follow the just follow the branches. There. Okay. However you want to do it. Thanks guys for joining me. I'm Shannon from Nana's Workshop. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram, also YouTube, and you can look at my website at httpnanas-workshop.com. Thanks for joining me guys. Bye.